Hello everyone, um, massive apologies because I forgot to press the audio for the first part of this, but I rectify it very soon after. So I'm going to give you your intro into this episode without our prelude. There's going to be a period of silence, but you'll, yeah, and then we, we kick off. So the episode will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, live long and prosper. His lips are barely moving. I've only just put the mics on. Never mind. They'll be alright. <laughs> I'll, I'll focus. <laughs> oh my god, look at that chin on that guy! Yeah. <laughs> Chekhov couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> look at Spock, just like... Mm. <laughs> Is this guy on Quaaludes? That's a very perfect bowl cut. That's oh. a good likeness of her. Mm. Yeah, I was yeah. just thinking that. Ironic considering they couldn't get As a raised eyebrow. Jane Wyatt to voice it. Mm. Mother. Cyborg. 
Okay, I have to point out, you could have led with that. <laughs> you could have led with that incredibly relevant bit of information, but this guy on the in Starfleet Records wanted to be a drama queen. No, he cares about his parents. I like how Alik Olm is there and no one addresses it. He's just that's just natural that there's a bird man right here right now with a tricorder. <laughs> You should probably get him in some kind of uniform. Mm. At least a com badge. Maturity? You mean maturity? Don't be racist, he has a beak. <laughs> I ain't being racist. Well, I am that's hungry for chicken. That's a nice shot. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Got that like matte painting just, effect going on. They just black out everyone because they're not important right then. You, they want him mm. to look at the landscape Tom <laughs> Magnum P.I. turns up Magnificent mag mustache <laughs> The mustache was most illogical But it was glorious <laughs> I can't believe Kirk is an amateur temporal physicist. I was just going to say, if there's <laughs> the one captain I trust the least to figure out time paradoxes is definitely yeah. Kirk. Yeah, even Archer I'd give more credit to. <laughs> he would start, like, punching the vortex or something. <laughs> That's why the vortex sounds like this. It's like, please don't beat me again, Captain Kirk. <laughs> this is fine. It'd be a double punch. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like the it's axe, the axe handle. handle. Jinx. <laughs> Desert soft sand. I will need something that rips off Dune. <laughs> Dude, Kirk's such a hunch. Oh, the ward I would love to work in the Starfleet wardrobe section. <laughs> Racist. I'm plain. <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking times on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> you know what, Dylan? You're like you're remarkably calm about the fact that you're going to get booted off your ship and your life changed forever. No, because I isn't wasn't that whole conversation that this time scheme will keep going on, and Spock would just return to like. Um, but that's not how Star Trek time travel has ever worked. Who cares? We're just making dumb jokes. No one's paying attention to the, <laughs> the plot. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. In fact, there is actually... Now, a... that's awesome. I love the different little paintings there. There is actually mm -hmm. a, um, a book which follows... <laughs> that Commander runs Dylan's through life, the pool! Has survived. Farpoint <laughs> Station. <laughs> yeah, no, actually... <laughs> Also looks like uh, the city of Tokyo post Akira. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, they did some nice, nice paintings for these for this episode. No, they really the take artist. advantage of the. Oh, I love the little car. It's great. <laughs> Jetson's car. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Spock Jetson. I know. I kind of love it. <laughs> Here's boy Spocko. We need a Robo made. Oh man. Now there's the leisure suit we were all waiting for. Yeah, for real. Desert soft suit. Oh, thank you. A terrain. A terrain. Oh my god, these naked children. <laughs> He's a fucking Chad. Look at that double chin. <laughs> it's Vulcan on the right. Oh. <laughs> this is like sumo wrestling. It's being but harassed. I have by... mastered the the ball crunch. It's being harassed by Samo Hung. Aww. These two are perfect. But you've never seen me before. <laughs> <laughs> Silic. Sasak. He introduced himself and it spawned like eight different memory alpha pages as they try to yeah, fill in his genealogy. Mm. 
Look how much Avengers Endgame just ripped this off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, actually. Why are the children naked? The With fireworks. Man, the look at that giant teddy bear. I love it. <laughs> the hands on the hips. That's not a very Vulcan pose. <sighs> the child has you were boy. seen in the neighborhood of Shakar where other Balkan boys were saying, Come out to play. <laughs> Hang on, let me just go chastise your sister. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I have to go and throw Cyborg out the window. Whoa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I know. This is, this is the equivalent of the TOS soft lens. <laughs> Don't fall for him, Amanda. He's not worth it. <laughs> Man, Major, you're not even trying. Now he's got a trick... Amanda and Sarah to go to the under the sea dance to get them to I fall was back in say, love. She, 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 he's gonna fall out of a tree and she's gonna fall in love with him. <laughs> Dude, he just grew like four feet. Look at that. <laughs> you look, Vulcan children age differently, okay? Even more than you, father? No, it is impossible for anyone to demand more of you than me. It's not a very logical response. <laughs> wow, no wonder you have issues. I want to hear Shai talk about Asian parents for about a half hour after this. <laughs> that's, that's all this is. This is pure tiger Vulcan, Vulcan dad going on. <laughs> I wonder why they used the model of Telly Savalas for Sarah instead of Mark Leonard. <laughs> you get Kojak in here? I'm still stuck on Tom Selleck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a really lovely... Uh, that's gorgeous, actually. So much prettier than I remember TAS looking. I want to see the animated version of Ethan Peck's Spock. <laughs> see, how, see how swole they make him? Ethan Spock back you, Peck. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that Jimmy doing is so versatile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at him go. There you go. I want to hear the Hannah Barber like, 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 doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just gets in the Flintstones car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to see the Hover Flintstones car, although, it kind of was a hover car, really. Okay, we need that as a drop. <laughs> Kempek. We need go that home, as a Kempek. drop idol. Sorry. <laughs> What is the music cue? You have a heart What's attack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I try as a good, like, good boy. Dude, the fucking electric guitar in the background. You hear this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm paying attention to this D and D table scope. Look at that. The Lich King's over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disapproving Sarek right there. His mustache. I must ask him a question. <laughs> it's got Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla sounds. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow! I've never really? noticed that before. It's amazing. Wow. Let's try up the show wild Godzilla noise. What the fuck? Amazing. That's incredible. That that's surely breaking copyright. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know if it's actually copyrighted or not. Well, not I would awesome. imagine it would be. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man, he's a terrible clutch. I think that's bingo for me. Oh really? <laughs> Da 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 la matcha. <laughs> Camera, you little fuck. <laughs> Man, I can't get over that Godzilla noise. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think we're watching the show, do you? <laughs> they should have gotten Ronnie Howard to do this. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. The two Howard brothers. And, and then they can whistle the outro. <laughs> That's a classic line. Just ask your sister. <laughs> Dude, this dialogue is <laughs> thick as hell for, like, a kid's yeah. show. Yeah, no, it's actual proper. Electric guitar reverb of sadness. Just play the Shaft theme. <laughs> 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 the three La Machas. Oh. <laughs> He's too old and too fat. You just read that paper. No one else can do these line reads. <laughs> like the creature's already dead. That howling is just Spock's stomach. He's very hungry. <laughs> he hasn't had his plomeek. Sacrifice. Oh, no. Yeah. Sabotage. Oh. That's a mind meld right there. Oh. Did you, is it? Oh, yeah. sucker vines. Oh. Better blur you that mean, shit like, out. You mean, like, use socks? Like, clean up after yourself. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Did he just leave? Oh, that little, little Star Trek hentai. I like how when Michael went through the Vulcan's Forge, she had to deal with that gigantic like, insectoid creature. Like, wow, what the hell? Okay, now that actually is Jimmy doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> he's like an oblivion side character yeah he is Yes, he's mad libbing his way through this dialogue <laughs> please help me superman villain <laughs> fucking Mr. Mix Lex Luthor what here. are you doing on Vulcan <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Mix is Spidlick please help me that's exactly what I was saying Mr. Mix is <laughs> <laughs> Take two of these and uh, call me in the morning. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure about that accent. In for my back. <laughs> <laughs> this one for my heart condition. Get the tiger bomb. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Weird little UFO.
This is really heavy for a kid's show. Mm -hmm. This is good writing, though. Here is the shotgun. Do it. Do it. I want Peter to pick him up and he just throws I shy off the mountain. <laughs> I like how they have like the Federation standard hypo. Yeah. Give him a triox. Oh, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda's just like so much pain. Single tear. Chosen pain. Yeah. Sarek, we need to adopt again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try again. Try again. Get a do over. I've heard there's this orphan around the Federation territory. Let's go and get her. <laughs> the Vulcan Ball Crunch. <laughs> that kid's running back to the sucker vines for sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is Back to the Future. They just stole this yeah, right from... Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. And if your kid ever, like, you know, like, puts a little... Th go easy on him. <laughs> yeah, but not enough flirting with his mom. Yeah. It was a little bit. <laughs> What's he singing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Christopher Lloyd is just the guardian of forever. <laughs> Why don't you make like a sell it and fucking die? <laughs> wow. You're an asshole, Cook. It's not a red shirt, it's a pet. Spock comes back and Kirk is just doing like push ups and That's right. getting all swole. <laughs> that side eye. Well, it just seems, you know. <laughs> Dude, DeForest is so. Uh, passionless as he delivers his life. Yeah, no. yeah. He's like, I had to come into the studio for this shit. That was good. Theme song. Hell <laughs> Sutherland! So I only Back in the three. days before the, when they actually signed off on these things. I only got six on my bingo. <laughs> Dick Hall. <laughs> <laughs> You're a child. <laughs> I'm just looking for fun <laughs> names. Come on. <laughs> Dude, that, those are the fastest flashing yeah, no, credits. Yeah, what's yeah. That? Animation that credits. credits over here. Short shift. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> also starring these voices, but not really. They weren't here. Yeah. I saw a company called Horta Corporation. Hey, I Louis hope they're in Shammer mining. The Lou Shimmer. Lou Shimmer. Norm Preston. <laughs> this weird car logo. 1973. Ba, ba, ba. What a time. Nice. Roger Moore was James Bond. It was always nice. simpler then. Awesome. So what did, yeah, All right, bye subs. Yeah, <laughs> bye subs. <laughs> <laughs> bye subs.